Well, hi there. Welcome back to Hecktown Homestead. Um, so part of keeping chickens and taking care of chickens, the biggest part, the part most people dread the most is the mess. Don't let anybody kid you, there's a mess. The older they get, the bigger the mess gets. But in this video, not only am I gonna show you some cute, adorable chickens, which are growing very well, I'm gonna show you a few things that I've done so far to try to make that mess a little bit easier to deal with. Maybe just a little easier. It's still stinky, so gotta have a pretty good stomach. I'll be back and show you what I do first. Well, hello, ma'am. How are you, Miss Saturday? Are you looking for some goodies? You girls have been very busy today. Look at the mess you've made on top of the heat plate. How are you? Oh, wow. You're going to jump up on the side? That's a first. Here's your sugar. Good girl. Let's get down here and let's show the people what we do. This is how, so far, I've kind of kept them from flying up. That's not going to last much longer, huh? This is a mess. Oh, now listen here, ma'am. Listen here, ma'ams. You've got to get down. Get your little self down. While I clean up, ha ha, this mess. So you see, I put a little bit of cling wrap, press and seal actually, on here. And that makes cleanup of this part at least a tad bit easier. Now I'm gonna throw this in a bag, in a trash, and then put a new layer on here before these girls jump up here and decide to give me more presents. Right, girls? Oh, boy. We've got a lot to do. Ma'am, get yourself down. Get yourself down. Oh, don't you do that. Nah, nah. No need for tempers. Bye-bye. So now you see what it will look like for at least a minute or so until they get finished eating their wormies, which, yes, I'll admit it, that's what I had to do to get them to leave me alone long enough to put this on here. But this will help because scraping the chicken squat off of that is not fun or easy. Okay, I'm back. Now, as you can see, they have made a royal mess of the shavings that are in the bottom of the brooder. This is what I've been putting in here. We got two of these big bags. This is how much we've used out of one. I've cleaned it out completely once and done a semi-deep bedding method for the rest of the time. For right now, I'm gonna add a few more shavings. And yes, that will bring the level up so that they're closer to the heat plate, but they can always come out from under it. I still don't think it's too close to them, or it won't be. They fill their feeder with shavings every day, and I know they can dig in there and get it, or can they? If they could get in with their feet, they could scratch, and I'm sure they could find all the food. But because it sort of limits them to getting their heads in, I don't know. So I don't know if I'm a fan of this yellow feeder, they come in different colors. I just don't know if I like that or not. And the real battle, the worst part, is the water. I don't know if you can tell that, but they fill that water tray up with shavings. In minutes, it doesn't take long at all. So I waste a lot of water that way. I will look forward to the time when they can drink out of a hanging water or something that they can't get all those shavings into when they do their kung fu kicks around the brooder. So here we go. I'm not gonna be able to show you while I'm doing this, but I'll show you the before and after. Here's what the brooder looks like right now. Oh, hello, ma'am. What are you doing? Are you looking in the mirror? Oh, what a mess. And I'll be back when I can show you a little cleaner version of our little comfy home. So 
I decided for now, again, to take out the feeder. And these girls have been working really hard down in here. I know you can't see it, but they're trying to find some of the food that I dumped out. There was still a lot in that tray. Well, hello, ladies. How are you? Oh, you gonna climb up in my hand? Yeah. Hey, look at our new feathers. We're starting to get our real big girl feathers. Yeah. Hey, Saturday, you're looking good. And your whiskers look mighty good, too. Hey, listen here. We need to be rude. Some of us are getting our tail feathers. Yeah. Getting some real feathers. Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Are you jealous, Saturday? Well, you just consistently want to come up here, don't you? Don't you? Where is this holiday? Hello. Holiday, you're getting tail feathers. Don't be embarrassed. You're looking good. You are. Sunday. Are you going to show us how you look, Sunday? Wow. Look at those details on those feathers. Holiday. What a pretty girl. Whoa. <laughs> Holiday's not a fan of the camera. She's shy. Hello, Sunday. Hello. You're starting to get some really light feathers. Oh, well, here come the Kung Fu kicks. Here come the Kung Fu kicks. I know, girls. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yuck. Yucky, yuck. Yucky, yucky, yuck, huh? Yeah. Looks like we're about to change that water, huh? Shoo, wait. Shoo, shoo, girls. There's Holiday and her little tail feathers. And here's a look at Friday. Wow. She's gonna be such a pretty girl. She's going to be such a pretty girl. Woohoo! Let's hear about it. Look at there. Back kick, back kick. Where's your roundhouse? You have a roundhouse in there somewhere? Hmm. Nope, just back kicks, huh? Scratching, scratching, scratching. Look at they've still got a lot of their little baby feathers. All right. Let's get some new shavings on here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on, Mama, help us, help us. This is a mess. We need help. <laughs> well, I apologize for not letting you guys see the rest of the process. But trust me say, I have put some more shavings down. I did give them some more crumble feed. I will be glad when they start using pellets. That crumble feed is very dusty. Makes quite a bit of mess. I still need to give them some new water and life happens. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a little bit. I hope you enjoyed getting to see the chicks and see how they're growing. And we'll be back soon. Thank you for coming over to Hecktown Homestead and visiting the Hecktown Hennies. Have a great day. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it.